welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Dollar Tree glass plate, some fabric, and Mod Podge to make this pretty holiday cookie plate. So stay tuned and I will show you how to do it. Hey y'all, let's get started. So yes, this is fairly easy and I apologize for the Christmas intro already, but you know what? I have Christmas fabric here that I got from Walmart and I was wanting to do some fall fabric, but my store doesn't have it out yet. So guess what? Y'all get a Christmas video. But what you're going to need is one of these glass plates from Dollar Tree. And yes, it needs to be clear. That should go without saying. You're also going to need some Mod Podge, some of these little sponge uh, applicator, brush, paintbrush, doohickeys, and some fabric. Like I said, this one came from Walmart. It was over in the uh, pre-cut section. It wasn't in a special holiday section. I don't know where it will be in your store. But listen... Yes, this Mod Podge comes from Dollar Tree. And once I get this started and start painting on the Mod Podge, please, if you give me a minute and listen to what I have to say about Mod Podge, um, I have some good tips there that, that you, you, you want to hear, okay? But basically, what you want to do is take your plate and let's flip it over so that the back is facing up. Oh, you're also going to need some scissors. <laughs> flip it so that the back is facing up. And then you want to take some rubbing alcohol and really, really clean your plate. And that's going to take away any fingerprints or anything so that your Mod Podge will adhere properly. Then you want to take your fabric. Let's open it up here. Come on, work with me. Now this does not have like a central picture on it. It's just this little red truck everywhere. So it doesn't really matter where you place the fabric. You can place it anywhere and it's going to look okay. But if you have a picture on here that you want to center on your plate. Let's say we want to do this one. Just put your hand behind it and then just kind of center it down on your plate. And you can either feel around and make sure that it's centered or, you know, you can flip the plate over and look at it from the other side to make sure it's where you want it. I'm going to try to get a red truck in the center. It doesn't really matter to me where I have it. And then I'm just going to cut right around here so that the piece is smaller and easier to work with. I'm not going to cut it into a circle right now. I'm just trying to cut it so that it'll fit over the plate. If you have any scraps, you know, just throw those off to the side, but you can try to center it as much as you can so that, you know, you minimize your waste, the, the waste of the fabric, not your waste. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get some of this Mod Podge. <clears throat> so like I said, this is from Dollar Tree. It is the gloss Mod Podge because I want mine nice and glossy. So I'm just going to pour a little bit onto the plate. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to smear it on just like this. I don't know if y'all can hear that blasting music in the background, but when my kids just got up and now they're playing Minecraft. So I'm going to smear this on. And while I'm doing this, please listen. Yes, this Mod Podge here, you can't put these plates in a dishwasher. You can't let them soak in a sink full of dishes, you know, and scrub them with a dish cloth and dish soap. There is a type of Mod Podge that is highly water resistant that can go outside. You can use that if you want to, or if you can find it. I highly recommend Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. It has a blue label. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, that stuff has to cure for 28 days. So, that's why I'm doing this video now. So, if you want to make these for the holidays, you know, you still have plenty of time if you want to use the dishwasher safe kind. But with this, if you're using just your regular Mod Podge, like for me, I'm just going to be using these as cookie plates, okay? It's not like we're going to be eating lasagna or anything on them or anything messy. These are just going to be cookie plates. And so, like, once the cookies are gone... Just give it a good wipe down and that's it. But if you want to be able to actually eat food off of them, I do suggest getting the dishwasher safe kind. And if you'll look in the description box below, I will put a link to where you can get some. So I think I've got a pretty good layer of the Mod Podge on there. Now, some people complain that their fabric lifts up on the edges and that's just because they don't have enough Mod Podge on the edges. So make sure that you get enough on there. So now we're going to take our fabric. Let's see. I want to say that this is the center. Now this can get a little bit messy if you do it with your hands. Because the Mod Podge is going to start to kind of like ooze through. I'm just going to take my hands and just 
smooth it down. You don't want any wrinkles or ripples or anything. Just smooth this down and now you can really start to see the outline of your plate. And once you can start to see the outline of your plate, then you can go back. I need to put a little bit more here. See how this is not really sticking down? Well, I don't know if y'all can see it. I just assume y'all are like sitting right here beside me or something. <laughs> so, and yes, I do have a towel put down on my workspace here because I can't stand when people are making a video or something and they're clang, clang, clang and all over their table. That's why I have the towel to, to protect my raggedy table here. That is, that is in terrible need of refinishing. Okay, so now that we have most of this smoothed down, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to lift it up and then take the scissors. And then I'm going to go around and try to carefully trim closer to the shape of the plate. Oh, that noise. ASMR. <laughs> Just trim around. Oh, it's like we're making a pie. We're trimming off the crust. Now this part doesn't have to be perfect either because we're gonna go back and just keep smoothing, keep smoothing, keep smoothing. And then at the very end, you know, you can go back and trim off any of the excess. Try to be careful to not like angle your scissors and try to cut upward, you know, like on the plate because then you'll risk, you know, your fabric not really being big enough. And I'm clanging my scissors on the plate. And I'm about to give myself a panic attack. All right, throw that over there. So now our fabric is pretty much on there. And now all we're going to do now is just go back over it with another good coat. You can let your first coat dry completely if you want to before you do this. But when I, when I do this type of thing, I usually don't. I just like to get it all on there and then just leave it alone and let it all dry. So now I'm just gonna start working my way down the side and if I see any ripples, like there's one right there, just try to smooth that down. And just paint downward, making sure that you get a good coat on everything. You wanna try, now this stuff is going to dry clear, of course, but you want to try, you see like these little ripples right here, that line? How it shows up white. Sometimes if you put a whole lot on there and it starts to dry, those lines can stay white for quite a while. They'll only turn clear after they dry. Okay. So if it's been like a day, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm also battling a cold. <laughs> so if it's been like a day and you're still seeing these little white lines on there, don't panic yet. Okay. Just try to leave it alone and let it dry completely. So I'm just going to work my way around. If I see any little ripples, <clears throat> I'm going to smooth it down with my fingers. And then once I get all of this done, and go back around the edges and make sure that the edges are stuck down really, really well. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and I'll show y'all what I've got. Okay, y'all, I am back. And for the most part, this is dry. And I say for the most part, because right here is a tiny, tiny little spot that is not 100% dry. Um, this has been sitting here for about 30 minutes. I've had a fan blowing on it. So it is really, really dry except for that one tiny little spot. But um, quick recap, just take your plate on the back side, wipe it down with alcohol, put on a layer of Mod Podge, smooth down your fabric, put on another layer of Mod Podge, pay really close attention to the edges. Really smooth these edges down with your finger. Put on more Mod Podge if you have to, you know, between the plate and the fabric. Make sure that the pretty side of your fabric, the side that you want to see, is facing through your plate and the back side of the fabric from the back side is facing up. So, like I said, I'm going to use this for a cookie plate after I get done putting the cookies on it and then we eat them all, which probably take about 10 minutes, I'm just going to wipe it down to clean it. Check out the description box below for the link to the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, but there you go. So if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, links to all of which will be in the description box down below. 
and hope to see you all next time. Bye.